Ben Franklin said, there are three types of people in the world. Those that are immovable, those that are movable, and those that are movers. Tonight, we honor three movers. Dave Barger, you've already heard about the extraordinary work that his company does, but on behalf of the board, I thank you. You've been our chair now, coming to a close almost as to your term, and you've done extraordinary work in bringing a great organization to, in language that you like to use, higher altitudes. To Howard Chats, it's, it's going to be, we're going to miss those kinds of, right? To Howard Chatsonoff, who, in your very long service as a pencil board member, and now, along with Charlie Bendit, our vice chair of the board, you're known to be as focused and detail-oriented as you are creative and innovative. I am honored to call you a colleague. I'm honored to call you, Leslie, and your kids, friends. And finally, it is my great honor tonight to briefly introduce Chris Hayward. I do so on behalf of all of the board of directors. I give a particular shout out to Elliot Wally, only because he came the farthest tonight to be here with us. I do so on behalf of the staff, of all of you, of Pencil Partners, for educators, friends. Chris, where are you? There you are. Your work and your passion demonstrates that public schools in New York City, the largest district in our nation, but public schools throughout all urban and rural districts, are not immovable. Indeed, they're moving. They're improving. And they're doing so because of thousands of supremely gifted and caring educators in our classrooms and in our principal's offices. And while newfangled, yeah, go for it. A lot of you educators are here and you deserve it. And newfangled ideas and reforms abound. Tonight, what we're focusing on is the power of the private sector and the power of the broader civic community. The work of Pencil and recent history have shown us that our organization's acronym is ever truer. Public education needs civic involvement in learning. And that means CEOs, small business leaders, doctors, lawyers, and the bodega owner on the corner of your neighborhood and your school. Though we know a lot about what works in education, there is no magic bullet, we all know that. But one thing is for certain, our schools and our communities are better when we work together. And that brings me to you, Chris. Now managing partner and COO of Highbridge Capital Management, Chris is a pencil board member, sits on the executive committee, and is chair of our finance and audit committee. And as someone deeply involved in pencil policy making, like every one of our other wonderful board members, you have a meaningful involvement at the school level. For Chris's first school partnership, he chose the East Village Community School, led by Lisa Blanco, the principal at the time. Your own children were younger at the time, and you decided that you could learn, understand, and be a more effective both partner and parent if you chose to partner at an elementary school level. You talk about both mentoring the principal on budgeting issues, facilities issues, and how important it was for you to sit in the classroom with the kids, learn with them, read with them, talk about them, with them about finances. And you recently said to me, and I quote, I took a bunch of those little kids to the New York Stock Exchange once to ring the closing bell. It was awesome. Aristotle said that those who educate children well are more to be honored than they who produce them. For these only give them life, and those the art of living. Well, that may be true, but Chris's children would disagree. 15-year-old Isabel says to me, my dad cares about the children of today, and although he can be strict at times at home, we know he's trying to help us achieve what we can to the greatest of our ability. I think this is a quality that he applies as a leader in pencil and as a super loving father. 12-year-old Alexandra adds, my amazing father works so hard every day for our family, and I could never be able to thank him enough for all he does for us. He sends us encouraging texts in the morning before we get to school. And Harrison, who's nine, adds, I think daddy is happy all the time. I think he is a hard worker. I also think he is the one who stops fights. I trust that this skill comes in very handy for you, Chris, as head of the Audit and Finance Committee. Your ability to understand our finances and in our investments and communicate their risks and rewards is as important as your presence at every meeting, every event, and every gathering. 
You are a master of detail, a master of the caring touch, and of forward thinking. Chris has a new-ish partnership with the High School for Math, Science, and Engineering, working with Principal Crystal. You're here, Crystal, aren't you? Beautiful. Who is, I was waiting to, we actually haven't met yet. Chris is reconnecting with his inner engineering geek, his first love. While this school produces many talented graduates, it lacks the technology that would allow every child to succeed in school and beyond, and that's what Principal Bonds and Chris are working on together. Chris, you and I share a belief that, to paraphrase Sir Ken Robinson, for most of us, the problem isn't that we aim too high and fail, it's quite the opposite. We aim too low and succeed. And so Chris, loving husband to an extraordinarily accomplished wife in her own right, great father, valued friend, pencil partner, and board member supreme, congratulations on the 2013 Pencil Leadership Award. I'd like to end with Thomas Dewey, the 19th century education pioneer who said something that, Chris, you embody in all that you do. Education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. So Chris, my friend, this song is for you, the Gramercy Arts Pop Choir. Ladies and gentlemen, put your snaps together for Chris Hayward. You ladies ready? Yeah. yeah. Remember those walls we hit? Well, hey, we're there tumbling down. They didn't even put up a fight. They didn't even make a sound. You saw the way to help us win, but I never really had. Standing in the light of your halo, we've got our angel now. For work you've undertaken, for the motion that's unshaken, for the records that you're breaking. We must celebrate to shout you out. 